1110 KBND Radio News Time is 5.05 and a very good Tuesday evening. I'm Dave Adams. Let's go to the News Center and check in with Kelly Blyer. Good afternoon. Our top story, some serious budget shortfalls have Sisters School District looking at different options to balance its budget next year. The shortfall next year is expected to be around $667,000. The following year, they're looking at a $1.2 million shortfall. Sisters School Board member Glenn Laskin warns Sisters residents not to be alarmed. So I guess what I would say is, is uh, for folks not to be uh, uh, in a panic mode, we're certainly not in a crisis mode here in Sisters. We're going to go through the normal budget process and, um, and make ends meet uh, the best we can. Uh, but at the same time, we do have to be looking long term at um, you know, future bigger types of changes uh, if, if, it, you know, if the budget shortfalls continue or get worse. Laskin believes much of the money for next year's shortfall can be made through attrition and eliminating some administrative positions. Bob Thomas Chevrolet and Ben did not receive notification that General Motors would be picking up their franchise this week. Owner Bob Thomas has been a GM franchise for nearly 30 years and has a plan B to keep its affiliation. Well, we did not receive the call and all 661 GM dealers uh, that were to get the letter should have gotten the call by last evening. So apparently they felt that all calls had been made. We're seemingly not on the list, so we're going to go ahead with our plans to arbitrate. Bob Thomas has until June to meet with a third-party arbitrator to make a final decision whether they can continue as a GM franchise. Deschutes County Commissioner Dennis Luke and Redmond Mayor George Endicott have been appointed to assist and advise the Land Conservation and Development Commission on the local officials' advisor committee. 1110 KBND's Julia Gray has more. Dennis Luke says this committee hasn't been used by the LCDC director in many years, and having two representatives from Central Oregon is a real opportunity for a voice in state decisions. It, it brings in um, a local perspective to the discussions, and I think the director needs that. He did, he's doing a lot of outreach, and I really like working with him and talking with him. I think he uh, has a very uh, good common sense approach to land use issues, and I'm looking forward to the discussions. Luke says they plan to meet once a quarter. He adds that he's very interested in understanding the whole state picture when it comes to land use planning and development. Julia Gray, 1110 KBND, Radio News. A memorial service will be held for State Treasurer Ben Westland this Friday in Bend at the Riverhouse Convention Center at 2 p.m. There will also be a Salem service that will take place on Saturday at the Capitol House Chambers at 2 p.m. Westland died Sunday in Bend when he lost his battle with cancer. He was 60. Governor Ted Kulingon Oski picked Multnomah County Chairman Ted Wheeler to be Oregon's new state treasurer until the November election. The governor says the 47-year-old Wheeler is the perfect balance of expertise as both the head of Oregon's largest county and as a former executive in the financial industry. Wheeler's appointment will last until January. He does plan to run in November's election to serve out the remaining two years of Westland's term. You might remember Wheeler was in a skiing accident at Mount Bachelor last November. He broke his shoulder and two vertebrae. His competition for state treasurer in November will be Portland area state senator Rick Metzger, former treasurer Jim Hill, and Ben state senator Chris Telfer. Smartphone customers of U.S. Cellular in Central Oregon can now browse the Internet 10 times faster than before thanks to the rollout of their new 3G network. If you are on a smartphone device such as a BlackBerry, you will see the speed all the time. So anytime you're uploading or uh, uploading a file to, say, your Facebook page or you're, you're, you're surfing the web, you're possibly looking at Craigslist, you're going to see it happening with lightning speed. By the end of summer, U.S. Cellular plans to have a 3G service available in all of the state of Oregon. Customers will not be charged extra for the higher speed 3G service speed. The second round of Mount Bachelor's Ski for Charities event is underway. You can ski during midweek for only $25 when you redeem a day pass ski voucher from a participating nonprofit. The benefiting charities, which are also the groups who are going to be distributing the vouchers, are MBSEF, Barrel Clubs, Saving Grace, Boys and Girls Club of Central Oregon and Oregon Adaptive Sports. Mount Bachelor's Alex Kaufman says the vouchers can be redeemed midweek from April 5th through the 16th, and you can pick up the vouchers now. A little more than $48,000 was raised in Mount Bachelor's Ski for Charity program in January for five charities. For more details on these stories, go to yournews.com. I'm Kelly Blyer, 1110 KBND Radio News. 
Thank you, Kelly. 1110 KBND Radio News Time is 510. Leading Edge Aviation Skyview Traffic Update. In Deschutes County, bridge replacement work, Cloverdale Road, closed between Highway 126 and Jordan Road. There's a detour in place. Local traffic is allowed through only, please. Look at Skyview Traffic, brought to you by CRN International Chrysler. Motor Trends 2010 Truck of the Year. The all-new Ram Heavy Duty. Find a dealer at ramtrucks.com. Checking out the weather forecast, chance of snow showers this evening. Widely scattered overnight, lows in the mid-20s. Chance of snow tonight, about 50-50. In fact, about a one inch, if it does snow, could get about an inch of it, according to forecasters. Tomorrow, expect a mix of clouds and sunshine and a few clouds from time to time Wednesday night. Cloudy skies for the most part on Thursday. High tomorrow, 43 degrees. Right now in Bandits, 38. Redmond, 37. Depend on us, 1110 KBND Radio News. And a look at the weather brought to you by Napa Auto Parts. Right now, get a Napa racing cap free with any purchase at participating Napa Auto Parts stores. Limit one per customer and good, good while supplies last. 1110 KBND Radio News Time, 511. And uh, GM dealerships in Bend. It would be nice to have one here, don't you think, Kelly? I think it would be nice. Hopefully we can can get one. My understanding is this is um, their their last effort to try to keep the franchise, and they will meet. They're not sure where they're going to meet, whether it be Seattle, Portland, here, wherever. This third-party arbitrator will make the decision, decision, yay or nay. Um, And, um, you know, I'm pulling for yay, so hopefully that will happen. A lot of people in Bend are because they don't want to drive all the way to Madras to get their car fixed or get a new headlight or whatever. And I'm surprised that apparently they sent out 600 of these letters saying you can rejoin the franchise out of 1,000, 1,100, something like that. So there were 400 that didn't get it. I'm just surprised they they weren't part of the 600 that they added. So with as large as this community is, you would think that... You know, would, on paper. You would think the common sense, you look at a map and you say, this geographic area needs to be served by a dealer that's closer to the major right. metro area. Otherwise, you're not going to sell your cars. Right. If they can't get it serviced. Makes sense to yeah, me. Right. So, we'll see what happens. It, this arbitration will happen between now and uh, June. So, stay tuned. And we'll continue to follow that story for you. Thank you, Kelly. 1110 KBND Radio News Time, 512. Depend on us for sports.